What is up guys and welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new here. My name is Rachel and this is my baby girl Larcy and in today's video I'm going to show you, give you a tour of everything that my dog has slash everything that we have bought for our puppy or things that we have bought because of her. So the first category I'm going to cover is her current toys because right now I have her favorite balls stuck up on the top shelf of her closet and she's freaking out. So I'm I'm gonna cover this first so that way she can relax. Down. Stay. First things I'm gonna cover in this category are going to be her balls. Now she has a couple more than this, but I'm not gonna show you like a million dupes of the same ball. Let me show them real quick. She has some of these, some of those, and then she has two frisbees, a pink one and a purple frisbee. This blue ball from Playology is her favorite thing in the entire world. I've shown it in videos and talked about it a million times, but it is so true. She is obsessed with this thing. In addition to that, she has her Easter bunny. She has her ice cream cone for the 4th of July, which today is actually the 4th of July while I'm filming this. So we posted a little picture with that. If you didn't know, Larcy does have an Instagram as well. It's called Life with Larcy. Make sure that you go follow her there. She has her piggy. She loves big stuffed animals. She loves to just pick them up, throw them around with her mouth. She has a popsicle. She has her tomato. She has her snuggle puppy. She sleeps with her snuggle puppy every single night, whether she's sleeping in her crate or on her bed. She doesn't have the heartbeat or the heat packs anymore. We only did that whenever we first got her. She has her monkey, a bone, a playology stick, her favorite scent ever, playology bone, favorite scent ever. All of these blue colored ones are all peanut butter. She has a big donut. She has her binky. She loves this binky. We fill this up with puppy peanut butter and then we put it in the freezer and then give it to her. She loves this thing. She has her hedgehog, another bone, her lime, her cow, star, a rainbow, candy cane, another bone, her pizza. This is one of her first toys ever. Mushroom, her little donut, another Kong toy that we to fill up with peanut butter. We actually had like a cream cheese type of Kong that we filled in there before too. She has her watermelon. She has an orange. She does not like when you take her toys away from her or you're playing with her toys. So that's why she's like being all over me. She has two bananas. She has a rainbow bone. She has her baby bottle, lollipop. And then these are her bigger Nyla bones. And then she has two Luma bones. One of these must be underneath the couch because she has this one and then she has a slightly smaller one. Oh, I found her other Luma bone. It was for some reason in our closet. That's her smaller one. Luma bone actually sent us one of these as a gift and she is obsessed with it. So we ended up buying a second one. This is another one of her Nyla bones. This is probably her least favorite toy ever. It was one of her monthly birthday presents and I think that she doesn't like it because it's really heavy. Another ball, another ball. Then this is Gary. Obviously it's like a interactive toy that you can put food and treats and stuff in and then she has to roll it around in order to get the treats out but it's a little snail and spongebob so we call it gary and she knows what gary is like if we tell her hey go get gary she goes and she grabs this so this is a good way to lower down getting treats because she's one of those dogs that is like a vacuum and just sucks everything down so those are her current aside from whatever may be hiding underneath the couch or the coffee table and then this is her toy bin i got from Walmart. I love it. I think it's super cute. So the next category I'm going to do is her closet. So yes, yeah, she has her very own closet with all of her own stuff in it. She has her treat shelf and then she has her etc shelf and then her food and her backpack. So on the bottom shelf for food, she has the Royal Cannon Gastrointestinal Puppy Formula and then in our vault, our storage container for her puppy food, she has Prina Pro Plan, the Large Breed Puppy Formula and then this you might have seen it in a couple of videos before this is her backpack so going over her first shelf we have actually like four of these but just a pet hair lint roller and we have her doggy toothpaste this is the toothpaste she's always had loves this toothpaste she has her fleet comb that i use as you'll see in my night routine to brush like the more naughty prone parts of her every single day and of course she's laying directly underneath my tripod we have her nail clippers i love these they have a little safeguard on the back and then her doggy toothbrush as you can see uh they get a little ratchet but 
I love these toothbrushes. I know I used different ones when she was really, really little, but now that she's bigger and has all of her adult teeth, these are wonderful. You can get them on Amazon in this really big pack, but having this long handle makes brushing their teeth so much easier. And then I have these puppy wipes that I use to clean her up. She gets a little nasty in the down area, so I just want to make sure that she's clean and she doesn't have any little droplets or anything on her. She's gotten better as she's gotten older, but especially when we first got her, she definitely needed some extra help. This is one of the heat packs that she had. There's also a heart that you can put in the snuggle puppy that's supposed to mimic a heartbeat. And then I just have a regular hairbrush. And then this is a rake. This thing is freaking wonderful, especially for dogs that are like golden retrievers and have a ton of hair, double coat, and shed a ton. This baby is awesome. We go through with a rake once a week in the backyard and it's amazing at how much fur you actually get off of them. This is for the bathtub to help wash her. These scissors are used to trim her up, keep the hair around her paws nice and clean, the hair around her ears. This is a brushing mitt that you can use to brush them. This is a little drying thing for the bathtub. These are her ear wipes. We do her ears usually like every other week or at least once a month, but I keep track of everything. I'm a little OCD and I know in my phone I have every single bath that she's ever had, every single time she's taken her medications. Anything you can think of, I probably have it in there every time she gets her nails trimmed. And then we have her two paw cleaners. Love these babies, especially when it's really muddy and gross out. This pet clipper is amazing. I love this. I actually recently got this and I'm so obsessed. I wish I would have got it earlier, but there's no way you can possibly arm them. I've tried to like poke my finger or burn myself, anything, just so that way I could test it, but it's wonderful. Really low noise. Highly, highly, highly recommend. And then we just have some pet odor for Breeze because, you know, we get the pet smell. Her bitter apple spray. Haven't used this since we first got her, but this was really, really nice to get her to stop chewing on things that she was not supposed to or biting different things mainly the Christmas tree since we got her in December and then we have her stain and odor remover for whenever she had the steaks and then this was completely full when we first got her and you can see that now we are going to order more soon these are the poop bag rolls love them there's a little carrier that came with it that I keep in my purse so then for her treats shelf we have all four flavors of the chip and time treats she loves these treats like possibly her favorite treats ever and then she has her training treats that she loves she's had these forever this one actually sits on top of her crate she gets one every single time she goes into her crate and then she has her fruitable treats and she has her greenies dental treats these are wilderness trail treats these are like really big biscuits her milk bone peanut butter treats rachel ray treats her salmon treats, these are her walking treats if you haven't seen that video. And then her puppy peanut butter, she loves this stuff. And then as far as bowls go, we got this for her when we first got her and she's still been using the same one ever since. But she developed this habit where she's like a vacuum when she eats. So we had to get her this slow feeder bowl, such a huge help. And then this is just her travel bowl whenever we go on hikes or go somewhere. And then the mat underneath there, she actually got as a Christmas present. So next I'm going to go into her graveyard slash retired toys. So these are toys that she's either started to destroy or they're just simply too small for her now or outfits that are too small for her. So going into the graveyard. This whole thing, by the way, this pink thing that she's standing in front of is full of stuff just for her too. So not only does she have her own closet, but she also has this whole stand. So this is the heart that I talked about in the snorkel puppy. This is one of her little Nyla bones that clearly is too small for her now. Another one of her Nyla bones that's clearly too small for her now that she's trying to play with. One of her favorite toys ever, but the rope is starting to come apart. This is the only rope toy she was ever allowed to have, but she loves biting in this part and then just flailing her head around Around. It's kind of like a tornado because she will literally whack you with it. And she has her first harness ever. This makes me so, so sad. I remember looking at this and thinking that it was going to be too big and it's an extra small and that makes me sad because now she's so huge compared to that. Actually, I lied. That was her medium one. This is her extra small one. That was her first one she ever had when we first got her and now she's a giant. Do you remember that? No, this is mom. Mommy's doing this, okay? No, mommy's gonna do this. She has her red sweater. 
that she wore around Christmas. She looked so adorable in this. Then she has Mr. Crab. She started ripping the seam apart. And then she has Miss Piggy that she can no longer have again because she was ripping out the seam a little bit. So as soon as she rips the seam of a toy, it's like gone, gone. She's like not a toy destroyer, but I don't want her eating the stuffing. This is the ball that we brought her home with. This was actually from her breeder, but she loves to pull this stuff off and eat it. This was another one of her favorite toys, her ice cream cone. It had a little black thing up here and then like a little rope toy type thing at the bottom, which I don't want her eating and playing with. This was <laughs> her, her Happy New Year headband that she wore. This was her first Christmas bear and I had to take it away from her because she was starting to rip the seam a little bit in the front. Another little Nyla bone. She loved these things. Oh my gosh, Lammy. She loved her lamb. There's a squeaker in each foot and a big one in the middle. She was obsessed with this freaking lamb. I don't remember why. Why did we have to get it pulled away? Oh, that's why we took it away from her because she's ripping the eye. This is one of the rope toys that she got in one of her Christmas presents from her grandma, but she is not allowed to have rope toys, so she's never even actually played with this. And then her retired outfits. So this little Christmas sweater, adorable, doesn't fit her anymore. Her first Christmas outfit. This is like really sad to do this video, looking back at all this stuff and it's only only been I mean she's only eight months old so it's not even like it's been that long but still so cute oh and then she had a little mrs. Santa outfit adorable and then I'm gonna go into the category of current outfit slash accessory she doesn't really have that many I'm not like a huge bandana person but she has this I love daddy bandana that she wore for Father's Day she has this really cute rainbow one rainbow striped bandana leaf bandana oh this is another retired outfit it says I love my daddy so I actually got this for my husband's birthday in January for her to wear and then I bought my husband a shirt that says best dog dad ever so they had like little matching outfits and then I just have like her license and stuff her registration her inflatable harness from whenever she got spayed which by the way I would highly recommend because it, it was so much easier and so much more comfortable I feel than the traditional cone and she has this really cute picture frame that I actually got from one of my friends at work these are her paw prints this was actually part of her birthday present slash card for her dad. Okay, so now I'm going to do her current leashes, harness, collars, whatever. So I really don't have a crazy big variety, but this is her leash. She's had the exact same leash since the day we got her. It's actually starting to tear because we've washed it and used it obviously like a million times. And then she has this harness that is super cute and reflectable at nighttime. So wherever she is, you can always see her. Our leash is actually reflectable too at night. This is actually really dirty from the park. I just haven't washed it yet. And then the only collar that she's ever had, the only reason why she actually got a collar is because I didn't know that whenever we bought her her inflatable harness, she needs a collar in order for that to work. So she has this, which is nice because she also uses it for her bandanas. Then she has her easy walk walking harness. Best investment ever if your dog sucks at walking like mine did huge lifesaver and then she has her wild one harness i am obsessed with this i wanted this so bad i looked at so many different ads i saw a million times whenever i first got her and i finally decided to just cave and buy it this is the blush version and she's only allowed to wear it for special occasions because i refuse to allow it to get dirty and then this is her leash that matches the harness from wild one and then this is her really cute blush pink poop bag holder with a poop bags and this is her posing thingy that i'm going to give her a treat hi baby hi baby girl so this is the area that we take her in and out in so she has 10 of these towels i bought just for her to clean up her paws i change out the towel every single day just to dry her up clean them off make sure she's not tracking any junk in here we bought this runner just for this reason so that way whenever we come in we're not ruining the carpet we're ruining just the runner and i can just throw it in the wash i vacuum it every single day and then she is bell trained so this is her mighty paw smart bell you just plug in the receiver to an outlet nearby and then this is the button that she actually pushes and then we have a mutual pair of shoes that fit my husband and myself whenever we go to take her outside and then this is a urine flashlight that lights up purple that we also use whenever we take her out at nighttime just so that way we can see better and then of course we always 
just have some poop bags over here so that we can grab one before we go. This is an impression of her paw print that I did when we first got her that I still have to clearly finish and write on. I know exactly what date it was and stuff. I just have to finish it. And then this little gate is another thing that we bought because of her to obviously block off the stairs. So that way we can keep her from going upstairs and just keep her on the main floor. Also, sometimes we'll pick this up and we will take it into our bedroom if she's sleeping on the bed with us. Sometimes we just close the door, but it gets really hot in there with all three of us breathing. We leave the door open and have this gate up instead. So this is the camera that we got for her. So I watch her while I am at work. The thing we bought because of her is this for the backseat, a backseat cover. I love having this. She has the whole backseat to herself and whenever she gets in, I just hook up both sides just like that one is so that way she doesn't get any scratches or anything on the doors. And then this is a pillow that my husband actually got me for Mother's Day. Of course we got it because now I'm a fur mama. And then as far as clothes go, things that I have bought because of her now that I am a golden mom and a dog mom, I bought this. Super cute from a boutique that my friend has. And then I got this shirt from Tractor Supply. It says, if I can't bring my dog, I'm not going. And then I got this from a little Instagram friend that we have made, and it just says Golden Mom on it. Another thing that we got her, of course, is her crate. So this is the largest size crate that they had, just so that way she could grow into it when we first got her till now. Go nap time. Good girl. Good girl. And then we have a blanket on top of it just to have it more of like a little bit of privacy for her. And then this is the divider that we used when we first got her. This is her blankie. This is actually from her breeder that was rubbed on her parents and her siblings for their scent. We usually have this in her crate, but because it's summertime, it gets really hot and she has no interest in this blanket right now. And then she does have two towels that we use whenever we give her a bath as well. There is a pink and white striped one from Victoria's Secret. And then there's also one that is supposed to help dry dogs that have really long thick fur that is pink as well and then next I'm just gonna show you some of like the freebies that she has gotten Larcy has gotten literally so many free things and I appreciate everything if you are someone who has sent us something literally she gets the best stuff she actually has like four packages coming just in the next two days but for now I will show you what we have at the moment so she got this super cute well I guess I got this super cute cake Case of her from Pets United. So I just sent them a picture of her and then told them what I wanted as a background and they did an amazing job. It is so freaking cute. And then Ollie and Co sent us this candle that is bamboo and coconut scented. It smells so, so good. They also sent her a doggy treat and then they also sent some lip moisturizer, which I am like literally obsessed with chopsticks. So I was a huge fan of this. And then Paws and Prints offered to send me a print the custom drawing of Larcy. I am so obsessed with it. She's even like obsessed with it. Every time I pull it out, she's like all over it. Look how freaking cute this is. Is this not the prettiest thing ever? Obviously it's pretty because she's in it, but such good quality. I wish you could see how nice the quality is, like if you're holding it and looking at it. It is so adorable. Thank you so much, Paws and Prints, for sending us this. They also have posters and other things as well, if you don't want just a framed picture. But there are so many different options to customize whatever you want from them. And then these are two really cute bandanas that we literally just got from an Instagram shop. These are from Darling Daisy Co. I will leave their information down below. So adorable. Luma Bone also sent us this and some coasters. So we got a rope toy, which unfortunately she is not allowed to have any rope toys. We got this green <coughs> stick that I know she will love. We got this Lucky Dog All in a Bone a two pack. We got these Supreme Healthy Max treats and we got some Natural Baker treats. So thank you again, a puppy pack for sending this. So there you have it. There is a huge haul of everything that my dog has everything that we have bought her since we got her, everything that we've got because of her. I hope that you enjoyed me going through all of her stuff. It was super cute to go back through all the things that she has had. I will leave links to everything down in the description box. And if there's any coupon codes that I have to get any percentage, any discounts off, I will include that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the videos that we post. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. As always, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.